This is a Tandy Radio Shack TRS-80 Model 4, a computer first released in 1983. It's a Z80-based system, and the version with 64 kev memory and two floppy disk drives would have cost you $2,000. I never saw a TRS-80 when I was a kid in the UK, but when I first saw one in the US a few years ago, I just loved the distinctively retro design. I mean, it just looks like a computer, doesn't it? Tandy sold a lot of these computers, and so they're relatively easy to find on eBay or Craigslist. And they're also relatively easy to repair, because they're getting old and they do start to fail. For example, I bought this computer from eBay, and when I got it, neither floppy drive worked, and it was in a pretty sorry state. The first thing that needs doing with the TRS-80 is to update the power supply. If you don't, then sooner rather than later, one of these capacitors is going to go pop and release a lot of evil smelling smoke into your life. Everything inside the case is easy to get to, so it's not very hard to unsolder the old capacitors and replace them with new ones. The second thing I did was to try and get the floppy drives working. With a little WD-40 I was able to get one of the drive motors unseized, but the second drive was stubborn and just wanted to be left in peace. In protest, a few pieces actually fell off it. To top it off, it's getting harder and harder to actually find floppy disks these days. So I decided to give up on the drive, and instead I fitted a device called a GoTech. This is a brilliant piece of electronics that simulates a floppy disk drive, but it really uses a USB flash drive to store data. A single USB drive can store hundreds and hundreds of virtual floppy disks. I bought a GoTech from eBay for about 20 bucks, took it out of the beige case and mounted it in a custom acrylic housing. It doesn't look too bad. Now the TRS-80 can boot from the USB drive and I can select from multiple disks and quickly switch from CPM to games. The final treat I gave this old computer was a FRED system. This simulates a hard drive and it connects to the expansion port on the base of the computer. The FRED can store entire hard drives on an SD card and quickly boots up to give you more storage than anyone in 1983 could ever have imagined. Now I'm still new to this old computer, but I'm enjoying repairing and learning more about it every time I turn it on. If you like this kind of thing, you'll find there's a very helpful and welcoming community of TRS-80 users on the internet. Why not have a look on eBay and see what you can find?